Hey, good morning. Michael Agerbrandt here again at the Moran Baking Equipment booth, and I'm with Xavier Lubinwalk, who's the master baker for Moran. And we're going to discuss the new addition uh, of equipment, the Rio Pan line, and talk about the different ways it, it can be configured for you guys. The first part of the machine is the Rio Pan, the head machine. And I was discussing with Xavier about how many kilos per hour can we do on this? 700. About 700 kilos per hour. And uh, we, one of the main features of the line is, or the head machine, is that we actually we have scale. There's two scales, right? So, let's see that. So the first scale is actually weighing the dough piece, correct? And then the second scale is reporting back the information to make sure it's as accurate as possible, right? And we also can do one row or two rows. All right, so. One of the big concerns for bakeries nowadays is food safety uh, because all the audits that, uh, that they're subjected to. And so I just want to discuss a little bit about the cleaning of the machine. Uh, it looks like we have a lot of access. Uh, how, do you, how do you just give us a quick demonstration of how you would uh, access and clean the machine? Oh, so... You have full access here to be able to vacuum. Do you vacuum it out? Is that or use a brush? I use a brush. Yeah, a brush. Okay, excellent. And do all of these other panels come off too? This opens up as well, correct? Yeah. Oh, very nice. Very nice. Okay. So as you can see, you can kind of reach in there and use a vacuum or brush to be able to access the whole machine. Um, it looks like you have some more drawers down here, flour drawers to pull out. Yeah, yeah, easy enough. That's just excess flour, and uh, we also can access the scales here. Very nice. Very nice. Excellent. I like it. Thank you. So, continuing on with the Rio Pan line, I wanted to discuss a little bit. One of the my favorite features is that you can actually with the control panel. Just plug in the exact weight you want of your dough piece and how many pieces you want. So let's say we're making 400 baguettes at 300 grams. It's very simple to plug that those numbers in and ask for the 400 baguettes. And uh, the machine will actually run through the dough and stop after it's produced that amount. It's quite a nice feature and it allows the bakery to actually use this as, as a divider even if you were feeding a workbench or if you're a small bakery and you're going to make uh, 400 baguettes and uh, 200 to sell uh, at you know, different weights but the same dough. Very nice feature. So as you exit the head machine of the Rio Pen, we have a lot of options going downstream from here. Um, today we just have the bypass on the rounder or you can go to the rounder if you would like to make a, a round boules. Um, if you use the bypass then you're going to head on down and either pull them off as ciabatta or ultimately enter the Armor HV, which is the long molder, and we'll be able to mold in uh, baguettes or tin bread or something like that. We don't have an intermediate proofer on this line today, but that's an option as well. Um, we have some bakeries that would like to uh, divide stress-free, go into our eccentric rounder, and then go into an intermediate proofer. Just please keep an open mind because there's so many options that, that we have. As you can see, this bottom belt here is the bypass of the rounder. The dough piece would just simply, after being accurately weighed, would just travel down the line and ultimately get down to the armor. Um, not sure if you guys are familiar with what an eccentric rounder is. We'll try to attach in some video here uh, about that. But basically, it's an oscillating rounder that kind of needs, like a baker would need dough as he pushes the, 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 the dough against the bench and rounds the, the loaves. Um, it's the same, same thing. Inside, it's an oscillating uh, cylinder, I guess, uh, that pushes against the dough against the sidewall. It's much different than a conical rounder that is uh, where the dough bowl is running on a track. Um, both rounders work, it just depends on if you want, if you have a high hydration dough and you want to use flour and not oil, then the eccentric, the eccentric rounder might be the, the one for you. So I'm here on the, uh, the extension table uh, and, and the in feed with the armor molder. Um, we, have, we have some finished product here, but yeah, this is an actual workbench. So 
for example, if we wanted to work, you know, man and machine together, um, we could actually, uh, bakers on both sides could actually grab off dough pieces and uh, shape by hand if we wanted to at, at this stage. Um, if not, we can go continue on into the armor HV molder. Again, as I mentioned in some other videos, the armor mold is so flexible. We can we can access it uh, from the front or the back. We have the, uh, the rear end feet on on this machine, uh, so we exit on the front of the machine over here. Um, sometimes we uh, we might even configure this line in a horseshoe. It's possible to have it turn back on itself with a with a belt and then go. Uh, the the molder could be at the uh, back towards the head machine. So many different options. At the very end of this line, we have the Armor HV. Beautiful machine. This one's all stainless steel. HV stands for high volume. You might uh, think of this in America as heavy duty um, because it has heavier uh, bearings, a heavier, heavier duty transmission. And if you're a single shift bakery, going to run eight hours a day, the, the regular Armor is, is more than ample. We, we've known bakeries that run those for 25 or 30 years without issue. But if you're gonna continuously operate uh, the machine in your bakery where it might be two shifts or more, then we do recommend that you get into the, uh, the heavy duty or the Armor HB. Um, as you can see here, we also have a, uh, an extension table or a reception belt, I guess the proper term. Um, this is just a one meter so we can fit it on our booth here at the show. Um, many times this can be three, four meters long and the bakers might uh, could actually braid the dough on there if there was a hollow bread um, or some type of brioche um, or possibly even um, if the baguette was molded a little short they could touch it up by hand uh, it just depends uh, what works best for you and your bakery so again that's kind of an overview of the the Rio pan line that we have here um, check out our brochures because there's so many different variations and uh, we really have to consult with each bakery uh, there's not there's not one style that fits everyone uh, so they're all kind of custom uh, pieced together for your individual needs thanks so much for joining us today